Hi everybody, I just wanted to pop on and uh, give you guys a quick little video. Um, this is my mixed media um, pumpkin and I'm doing it uh, Facebook Live September, it's Monday, September 26 at 12 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time, that's my time, on Artfully Connected, um, their Facebook page. So I just thought it would be nice, um, it's just going to be a quick little hour demo. So there's some background prep to do in advance, and I thought it would be nice to do up a little video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to switch cameras over and we will get started. Hang on for one sec. Okay, so I switched cameras and um, we'll start in a sec. I just wanted to talk about the piece. Uh, you can do this on any surface of choice. It's just kind of a fun, easy piece and it's a little bit of um, a change up on the fall colors. So I thought the white pumpkin would be really nice, but it's actually, there's, um, it's all kind of about the background too. Uh, there's some crackle medium, there's some stenciling, and you can uh, see that there's quite a bit of the distressed background showing through. So um, you guys are gonna have to get this on adva in advance if you wanna paint with me um, on Monday. So it, again, it is uh, September 26. It's 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Artfully Connected on their Facebook page. I'll repin my post so you can see all that as well. Um, and it will be recorded. So I will um, share the link afterwards um, because some of you guys probably won't be able to make it at 12 o'clock on a Monday. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to show you how to do the background. And I said you could do it on your surface of choice. And I actually found this little wood cutout um, at the dollar store. And I thought that it would be a nice little surface. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. Adjust my... Just my camera a wee bit. There we go. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to use a nice uh, big one inch oval brush. I have gone ahead and sealed my surface. And I'm just going to work between a few colors to get them on in the background. So I just wet my brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown. I'm gonna stand up in my studio just so I can Get this on nice and loose. So the idea of this is just to have a few colors showing through instead of um, one solid heavy color. It's up to you. I mean, if you wanted it just black, you could totally just paint it black. So I'm going to pinch wipe my brush and just use a dirty brush. I'm going to pick up some dark gray. I'll just try to kind of randomly slap this on. Don't overthink it. Just blend these together a little bit, but I don't want to over blend them because when it's all said and done, I want you to see a little bit of these colors showing through. So I have the pattern for this on my website. I called it the mixed media pumpkin because it's got some crackle medium in there and some stenciling. It's just a little different. Okay. 
So you can put on as much of each of these colors as you like. So I'm almost there. Need a little more brown. So I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm just using a dirty brush. There we go. It's looking a little spooky. I could see a nice little Halloween painting on there. But anyways, I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna dry it and set it, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I've dried my pumpkin. I actually painted the sides of the, the um, wood cutout and the back. And then I took a few minutes and applied the guideline for my pumpkin. Next, I'm gonna to top um, just here and there, kind of randomly throughout the wood cutout. Uh, I'm gonna to, um, top it with some weather wood, um, the Crackle Medium by Decor. So I don't wanna put this everywhere. I just thought a little here and there. Just create a little more interest to the background. So I've got some Crackle Medium out and I don't wanna overthink this. So I'm just gonna slap it on. And again, I, I'm standing up in my studio it just allows me to be a little bit looser oh so actually huh pull across so um horizontally through the background i almost forgot this part and then on the pumpkin i want you to pull a little more vertically so i'll just fix that one little spot So you don't have to put this on really thick. You actually get um, wider cracks when you put on heavier paint. So I'm just trying not to overthink this, just slap it on. Just a little bit here and there. You can put on as much of this as you like. I'm almost done. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. It's looking good. So now I need this to dry uh, before I can top it with the paint. Okay, so my crackle medium is dry. I um, tried to really let it air dry, but I did speed it up just a wee bit with the hair dryer. And now I've got a couple of um, blues out. Um, one is, I think, a little more yellow base and one's a little more blue base. I thought instead of topping it with one um, solid color because uh, I've been really changing this up. Why not just get a little more creative and get a couple of colors on there that work well together. So I'm gonna slightly thin my paint because I wanna try to keep some of my background showing through. Sometimes it's kind of hard to know to get going how, how much water I want in my paint. So I just put in a little bit and I'll know once I get going. If I've got too much water or not. 
So I want to keep some of those cool colors showing through that I put on and I actually switched to a flat brush. You could use the flat or an oval. So I'm just using a dirty brush and I picked up a little bit of my second color. And you do want to get some of this into your pumpkin too. So you can leave as much of your background showing through as you like. You can see I'm just kind of adding little bits of paint at a time. Because I'm not too sure how much I want to put on. So little bits is a little bit better because it's always easier to put on a little bit more than it is to put it on a little too heavy and struggle. So I do want to get some into my pumpkin. I may have to um, retrace a few little guidelines once this is dry, we'll see. You can see it's starting to crackle a little bit. I'm having a really nice soft touch when I do this. I just want to make sure that I kind of blend my colors because I don't want it to look like it's sort of like a stripe of one color and then a stripe of the next. So kind of work your brush a little bit back and forth and put on a few spots that are a little more heavy than others. I think this is going to be kind of neat on this little wood cutout. So I think I'm almost there. Notice I'm tapping my brush off quite a bit. I just have like an old rag here. Just makes it a little bit easier. So I've got a good spot there and a little bit here. And you'll see when you join me on Monday that I actually do distress it a little bit more too, so. Just trying to make sure that I get a few areas that are a little heavier. So not as much onto sort of the middle part of my pumpkin, a little more on those little back sections and a little bit into the sides. So I'm almost there.
Okay. I think that's looking really good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little demo and I can't wait to paint with you on Monday, September 26th, Artfully Connected uh, Facebook page. And I'll show you how to finish this little painting. So um, bye for now. And I look forward to seeing you soon.